Okay, so if you watched parts one and two, we're going to condense them into one new one because believe it or not, I was using the new PS5 microphone, that Pulse headset microphone. Okay, I can understand why my kid says it's a piece of garbage. No offense to you, Sony, but it's a piece of garbage. The sound is amazing. Everything's 3D. Everything bumps. Everything beats. The microphone is trash. So even if you were turning this up all the way, you couldn't hear anything. So I'm going to redo this. I'm going to start this over. The game I've got on now, we'll go over it again. I talk about retro gaming a lot, especially on the Recapping the Elite show with uh, Cousin Cecil. Everybody's been asking if we can start doing some games. I don't want to be like everybody else and play the current games. I want to start out with a little retro action. First game I picked, I'm a huge Fast and the Furious fan. I'm a huge Xbox 360 fan. Vin Diesel's company did this game called Wheelman for the Xbox 360. Vin Diesel does the voice, uh, motion capture. It's the closest thing out there to a Fast and the Furious game. This is it. I will talk for a while during the game. I won't talk during the cutscenes, even though I am now, but you can see here's Vin. I'm just going to call him Dom Toretto. And there's the Policia. Yeah. Always give the bald guy in sunglasses a look. The object of this, you are a wheel man, and she just obviously robbed the hottest bank because goddamn Federal Army's after me and my Mortal Kombat license plate. I'll post about that in the description. But here we go. This is your playthrough, your walkthrough, your guide. One thing I will say, this game is not edited as I play it. If I make a mistake, I make a mistake. So you can use this as a guide, sometimes in the case of what not to do. But here we go. And we got to drive. How did they catch us so fast? Who knows? And I went off course. See, she said right, right. I went left. But on this game, if you should go off course, this one actually was done on purpose. As long as you can recover quickly, it won't, uh, it won't bite you in the ass. All right. Now this look behind. A lot of coppers on me. This is where I'm going to earn my money is right, baby. Because I'm living my life a quarter mile at a time. For those ten seconds or less, nothing else matters. Especially when I'm in my ten second car. Nice. Handbrake turn, see? They're on me like glue. Fucking pigs. You can smash them out of the way, though. See, that motherfucker went flying. Roadblock. Hey, ain't no roadblock stopping Dominic Toretto. Yeah, let's see. I bet you they could catch us if they wanted to, considering there's a ton of them. That's yeah, some Fast and the Furious Tokyo Drip shit right there. Now we're going to do the melee, which... I played. I haven't played this game in a long, long time, but the melee is pretty nice because you can really smash a car up. Just keep in mind, if you're playing this game, it also can do a nice number on yours. Cars here in the will tend to get out of your way a little bit, so you don't have to worry as much about the oncoming traffic. You can bump them from the back. I always prefer to do the side shot. You notice it does damage to your car too. So that's not always the best thing in the world. There he goes flying. I love how the people... Shut up, dog! That's one of my dogs that you can hear on recapping the elite quite frequently that barks. Ah, oh, crap. Smash through that shit. Now I got the chopper on me. Goddamn Henry Hill from Goodfellas here. Lost those assholes. Well, not really. They're in the other tunnel. You can sometimes use that snap to get yourself back on track. Uh -huh. Cuban Mile, baby, like part eight. Wait till I get the NOS. 
fuck away from me. I like how the cops all drove past me. Got to get them out of my way. Knock that car into them. It's actually one of the funnest levels. If you've never played this game, it's very, very funny. And the controls still, you know, I played some Xbox 360 games. The controls are kind of loose or a little wonky. This one actually still plays very tight. Uh, it's actually one of their, I thought it was a very underrated game. It can get uh, a little repetitive. But it's still very, very, very fun. God's honest truth, I don't know where I was supposed to turn. I think here. I got some cops I got to take out. There's too many of them on me. And now I'm on the freeway. I know I ain't going down that way. Yeah, a bit too tight. Yep, I've said that before. Uh, this is insane. You're asking how I can drive and get out of everything. It's because I'm Vin Diesel. I love when the people go flying out of their cars. Look at that. Uh, I got to go straight after I... God, that car's on fire. Two cop cars are on fire. There, I got rid of that one. Oh, shit. All right, now we got to time this just right. You bet I'm going the ramp. Yep, just like Fast and Furious, only I didn't go underneath the truck. I went over it. I do move well, baby, because I'm... Um, doesn't matter if you win by an inch or a mile. Winning is winning. There's the chopper on me again. Well, yeah, these roadblocks are pretty stupid. Like wood is going to stop somebody. Well, handbrake turn. You got to do a little drifting. The one good thing about Fast and the Furious th uh, 3, it did teach me how to drift. Yeah. I pointed out before in this game. There's a lot of garbage in these alleys. Wherever we are, the city does a terrible, terrible job. A lot of trash. Oh, shit. We're coming near the end of this particular mission, I do believe. And now it's about time for the big cinematic jump. Here we go through all the trash. You can see the damage it does to your car as well. How I have not been apprehended by anyone. So if you ever rob a bank, just drive through some big buildings. Now we got to ditch the car. And we're going to get her car. Her name's Lumi. Lummy. Yeah, this car doesn't look suspicious. The one thing, and you can drive like a jackass in this game like you do in GTAs. The one thing this game has going for it, like if you're just driving around, if you start doing like insane stuff, smashing up and running over people, it will alert the cops to you. Well, I guess GTA does the same, but GTA is a lot more, what do you call it, lenient. But here we go. I'll be quiet. I wonder what's in my back pocket. Crap. Well, luckily, it didn't damage any of the other cars. Get in the car, jackass. Luckily, the police are not notified of a... Uh, uh, get out of this tight alley here. I actually think I stole a nicer car. The, uh, when you see the parts, if you've never played this, and you see the uh, the way you carjack in this, it's uh, all done by a thing called airjacking. 
It's really, really neat, I have to say. It's a mechanic I wish more games would employ. I like to stop on uh, sidewalks. I find it safer. All that trash in the alleys again. Really bothers me the way uh, the city takes care of things here. Uh, their map is uh, not hard to follow by any means. I think the GTA map's smoother. Um, even going back to the days of the GTAs when this game came out, this game's a little bit older. Yep, I'm calling in Tej and Roman, Letty, Han. I just realized I have this on on two monitors and a 65-inch television, and I'm watching the monitor instead of the TV. Here's the dossiers that flip by. That's Lumi Vega. I don't really give a shit, so I'm not going to read it out loud to you. PDA. There's a lots of side missions in this game that you can do to build up your skill points. But we're going to do another mission. Uh, Gallo, my agency contact wants to meet me at the construction site. Yes, so even though you are Vin Diesel, you're Dom Toretto, you're obviously working for Hobbs because you're some kind of fucking rat or a cop. I actually think you're an undercover cop. I, I don't remember. Either way, you're a snitch. You're not exactly a criminal like in the game The Getaway, which is a highly underrated game that they need to remake. Actually, it's not underrated. Everybody loved it. But here's another cutscene. King of the over the shoulder mumble Vin Diesel. Dom Toretto. Nice tie. Hell yeah, it destroyed a city. See, over the shoulder mumbling intact. This is a deep cover. All right, another dossier. This one's about Anton Gallo. You can Google all this shit, by the way, because I talk, but I don't read out loud. I haven't read since I read to my son when he was small. All right, now it's called You Scratch My Back. I'm going to meet up with Miguel and Enforcer for the Chulos Canales. And here comes yet another cuts. This game does have a lot of load screens. A lot. If you have a 4K TV, though, and you have an Xbox 360 where you don't, this game looks amazing. Uh, if you still have your machine, I'd highly recommend picking it up. It's not an expensive game. Probably pick it up for under 20 bucks used now, probably even less than that. Felipe, and 
All right, now it is time to retrieve three stolen cars. And to do that, you have to steal a car so you can steal the cars. And yes, you are timed. Get in the goddamn car, jackass. All right, this is where you learn to air jack. first few cars you go after are not that difficult to attain. And there it is. An Astra. And of course, the little cutscene screws me. So it's going to be B to air jack. This is actually really cool. And here I go. Vin Diesel can do some Jedi shit in this game. You don't want to damage the cars too much, but they're a little lenient. Because, I mean, it's a chop shop. They're going to fix it up. But yeah, he does tell you not to wreck it. The guy's a total douchebag. And there's one car. Park this shit. Get on with it. Got to get those 10 second cars. Sometimes, though, the cars that you have to boost to get up to them are not the easiest. Like here, I'm boosting a taxi. And now I'm going to steal a convertible. The handbrake turns can really help you if you can time them out right. Because this city has, like, the some of the tightest turns I've ever seen in a game. But there's my target right up ahead. That's a pretty sharp car. And this car is, of course, fast. Well, I'm in a taxi. I can't build up speed very well. And Vin Diesel can only jump so far. And I messed that turn up bad. But if he stays on target, I should be able to get him here. And... Here we go. Man, I can move. You like that? He didn't do that in any of them. Well, he did do that. You know, if you think about it in part uh, seven, my personal favorite... Uh, he did jump off his car so he could go flying to save Letty from going off the tank because, I mean, it's Dominic Toretto, the Jedi Knight of, almost met his match, though, with John Cena, but that's his brother, so. And I'm back in a dirty alley here. Get out of my way. And let's drop this car off. And we only got one more to get. Pull it in and park it. And now I got to get a car. This next car is semi-quick. Got one more. And, of course, it's a Pontiac GB. It's actually a quick car. Sometimes you get lucky and you can find a motorcycle right in the beginning. It's pretty easy to steal cars on bikes in this. Problem is, that much like in any open world game, if you're riding a bike and you get hit, you can very easily be screwed. Got to catch up to it. It's a little drifting. I'm going to try to head this car off. There it is. All right. Now this is a pretty quicker car. This one, as long as you have a nice... There's a pretty good stretch of straight road coming. Until it gets windy here. The car I'm in is not the smoothest of turn. 
but Damn it. Well, that was very unfortunate. This guy can't drive. This guy's all over the board here. But I messed that up. I was trying to dive. I made a bad turn. And now I am... I'm not done for yet by any means. I keep mistiming it. I, I need to just... I'm sitting here, my hand on the trigger, trying to air jack this thing. And I just need to take a deep breath. Get right behind him. And pop. Man, what a jump. And now I gotta lose the cops. Fucking pigs always gotta get in on my business. They're not too hard to lose in this game. All you have to do is get out of the search area. Which should not be that difficult. Got to concentrate here. Just want to stay ahead of them just long enough. Which I've just about done it. Okay. Now... The stupid thing is, I gotta go complete opposite way where you think they would be waiting for me. But no, they all just drove off. Probably to bust that garbage man that's stealing the city's money for not cleaning alleys. I don't want to mess up the car too much and get yelled at by this guy or ruin the mission. But I've got to speed up because I took too much time. What do you call it? Trying to jack this thing, making too many stupid mistakes. But I'm getting closer. I got a minute and 18. I should be there. Should be fine. I can't keep hitting this car, though. We're getting there. We're going to do it. I mean, we're getting. Well, I hope we're going to do it. We're getting pressed for time, but I think we're going to make it. Hey, shut up. And here we go. There's my warning, and we have finished a mission. We've actually finished a couple missions. Where's my phone? Beat it. All right, mission complete. Now we've learned to air jack, vehicle melee. We've learned quite a few things. No. All right, another dossier we don't care about. Dossier. Miguel Delgado. That's the tattooed face jackass that I was just doing a job for. And like I said, you do these side missions, you can, it gives you, uh, you might need them, but we're going to try to go as far as we can without having to do them. That way we just stick to the regular parts of the game. Uh, mostly like street racings and jacks and stuff like that, but it will help you uh, to improve different focus things that you have. You'll have focus meters, you'll have NOS. You can't be Vin Diesel without NOS. So now we are going to focus our camera on the nearest enemy vehicle at any time. I don't really do that. Yes, if your car is about to get messed up, you can just air jack another car. What do we got going on now? Which one of you is Felipe? Do I know you? Not yet. My name is Milo Burek. I just came in from Miami. I'm looking for a job. What 
do you do, Milo from Miami? I'm a wheel man. <laughs> a wheel man. Where's your car? If you can't use me, maybe I could talk to your Uncle Paolo. Yeah. Yeah. Four guys behind him with guns and they don't shoot him in the back of the head. I don't get it either. This is where we start. Hang on, hang on. Now I'm going to use Felipe's car as a bargaining tool. The shitty thing about this mission is you can't wreck this guy's car. And it's a long drive to this construction site where you're getting chased. And as you can see, my car, Felipe's car, is already pretty messed up. So there's a high possibility I'm going to have to redo this stupid thing. Which I don't want to have to do if I don't have to. Here, I'm not talking because I can't, I remember the, the garbage yard or the construction site. You have to turn off, and of course I picked the wrong turn. So now I've got to weasel my way all the way out to another part of town because this is absolute horse shit. Because I fucked that up bad. And I think now I'm going to fuck up this car pretty bad. Luckily, all the bad guys are morons. So I think the way to get in there... Mission failed. Okay, that's okay. We didn't get to the construction site, so we're going to do it again. Because I took the wrong turn. I was going to die. I did that on purpose. Uh, in case you're thinking I just made a mistake, that doesn't ever fucking happen. So uh, I did that to show you what happens if you fail. Uh, please keep that in mind. But here we're going to go. And which makes no sense. I have to keep this car as a bargaining tool. But they say you don't want the car all messed up. Yet his goons are, are the ones ramming it. You think he'd tell them, hey, don't mess up my car. Which, not, this game it's very hard to drive steady and not get hit, especially when these people are all coming at you. I don't try to do a lot of combat with them. I try primarily to avoid them. If I can. But we don't want to make the same mistake we did here and make a bad turn. And what I'm trying to do here, I don't know, as I once again got ahead of myself and went the wrong way. But I should be able to pop out here on a main street. And I'm probably going to die again because this guy won't leave me alone. So a little careful drive in there.
Uh, tell you. Now I gotta stop these guys before they get to the casino. There they are. Stopping these guys is not the most difficult thing. You mostly just have to melee. Once you get on the highway, you got a lot better shot, which is where we are about to be. There's two of them, so you kind of try to get just whoever's in your way first. All right, so here we go. That one's already smoking. He's in a finishing state. We're going to take him down. And that's one down. Hey, he fell out of the car and just laying there dead. Like his punk ass should. I really like watching the bodies fly out of these cars. Where's the other one at? I think he's in the other tunnel. Where the hell is the other guy? There he is. I was ahead of him. There we go, he's gotten ahead of me, which is what I needed him to do. I didn't necessarily need him to be in the other side lane. But I'm going to jump his ass here from the side, possibly, possibly. Always better if you can get him on the tight traffic in the freeway. Damn it, I missed. Fucked up my car. I can't see. There we go. All right. It's, if you can get on the side, it's always easier. Got ahead of me again. It's all right. I don't think he's close to the casino. Ah, oh, shit. He is almost to the casino. And he's not in a finishing state. Because I didn't do it on the freeway good enough like I should have. But we're not, uh, we're not done for yet. And there we go. And I do believe that was the last one as another mission is complete. We're moving right along here. We'll keep moving along for a little bit. And then we're going to stop for the day. For actually a couple days because we have a new show that debuts tomorrow. And here we go. Here's your side missions. A taxi mission. A taxi mission. Uh, get the people to the shit quick. You know, blada, blada, blada. Yeah, yeah, don't care. Keep receiving. We are going to go ahead to the casino, so we need to meet up and find out more information. That's what we're going to do. We're going to stick with these missions for a little bit longer. The police will take interest in you if you cause too much chaos as you're driving around. Here we go. Cutscene time. <coughs> Excuse me. My car. Yeah, don't mess with Dom Toretto. These thugs. 
cojones, that's a word you don't hear enough. My opinion. All right. I got to get some information. I got to go find this idiot, Felipe. This guy's a pain in my ass. This mission is more of you drive while he shoots. It can be a little... I got to steer him first, though. So scaring this guy is... Uh, you don't want to smash up the car, but you definitely want to... You want to drive through oncoming traffic. Just shit like that. Smashing up shit is a good way to do it. I always like to kind of start this way. Um, I find it kind of funny because then you can build it up. You want to do it into the cars, which I'm kind of messing around here, trying to get the feel of it. But now, here we go. Here we're going to start scaring. Now, hitting stuff, smashing up stuff is a real nice way to build things up. As you can see, he starts to get more nervous by that guide. He's getting nervous. He's getting scared. It takes a little bit to get this guy scared. Oncoming traffic is a good way to do it. And... Bingo! I can now use Super Boost to really make him insane. And that's what I'm about to do. Oh, crap. Now nah, we did it. Well, can't really have him get out of here. So we've just got to keep him driving. Can't really let him get away. If we let him get away, then we well, can't do anything. So you just have to drive this guy on the hood of a car. Stop the car, stop the car, yeah. I tell you. Yeah. Why would anybody jump on the roof of a car to try to get away? Get text, try and do my business, get in text. Got to say, give me 10 minutes, woman. All right. Ah, shit. Now I got to lose the cops. Yeah, I guess driving around with a guy on the hood of your friggin' car probably is. All right. We're going to lose these cops with some quarter mile of a time driving here. Well, my car's wrecked. Well, shit. Let's steal the minivan. I always wanted to try to get away in a minivan. Get in the car, jackass! And mission failed. Well, we didn't keep away from the cops, but I needed to stop anyway. So when we start this up tomorrow, we're going to keep Felipe away from the cops. Thank you for watching. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, go to the hardcoregraveyard.com, tune in for the barbed wire bite, tune in for recapping the elite for a new horror show tomorrow. 
just keep watching and subscribing. Tell your friends. Thank you.